Hey everybody and welcome to Action Figure Friday where I unbox an awesome action figure and we take a look at its design, its sculpt, its mold, its paintwork, its articulation, and its overall fun factor. And today we're back with another NECA 7-inch Ultimate Line action figure and of course it is from one of my top two favorite Friday the 13th films of all time, Friday the 13th for the final chapter. I guess they never actually called it four, I just call it four. Four and six are my all-time favorites in case you didn't know. These figures are fantastic. I've already opened part six. I did it on a drunken movie night stream, the Friday the 13th one from 2018. But um, I'm finally excited to finally be up here to number four. And this is the last Jason I own. I'm looking for that dream sequence five and they have some new ones coming soon. So we'll get into there. But if you haven't seen these, these are really cool. This is one of the rare boxes where I actually keep the box because it itself looks very good. Though of course I do actually open the action figure. And some of the accessories with this one are really cool. So we have this awesome artwork inside, and then we have this awesome Jason Voorhees. And you can see how he's laid out, very nice, with the window box and everything, nice and bloody. We even get the corkscrew. I love it. All right, so let's get into this figure and let's see what we think about this one. I mean, we know it's gonna be good. These have all been good. Uh, I don't think I've really run into a bad figure in their ultimate line, <laughs> at least not yet. <clears throat> so kind of excited about that. I do wish they'd make Kid Corey Feldman for this. I think that would be pretty sweet, but I ain't holding my breath. <laughs> All right, so let's see, we gotta get, oh God, we got this tape stuff to deal with. All right, all right, all right. And of course, once I get this tape off, we'll get going here. We got the hacksaw from the beginning in the hospital. That's very cool. Got us a nice ax. Got us an extra head and mask. Hmm, I'm not really sure what the difference in those masks is until we look a little more up close. Oh, I guess maybe one is the ax hit from the, you know, from leftover from part three, and one will be the machete hit from the end. I mean, spoilers, if you haven't seen these movies, I'm going to talk about the things that happen in them. As a matter of fact, right now, I'm gonna talk about not only how much I would have liked to have that Corey Feldman figure I was talking about, but we need both versions. We need him as, you know, normal kid before he's all messed up, and then shaved head ending Jason version. That would be very nice, <laughs> if you ask me. But then again, I want like all the figures. I love that they make the killers. I just, like a lot of us, really, really, really wish that maybe they would make victims. Especially if like they come with alternate heads and chest and body and stuff, you know, so you can have alive and dead versions. I think that would be awesome. <laughs> and I don't think I'm alone. I just don't know that it would sell well enough or you think NECA would have done it by now. I think that's the only problem. Or maybe there's some moral objection to selling action figures of dead kids. But I mean, what's worse, selling dead kids or selling the killer of kids? I don't know. All right, we're almost there. We've almost got all this stuff out. Now this one looks very similar. To part three, but uh, <laughs> that's to be expected because this is a fairly well direct continuation. All right, so let's take a look at the figure. Well, and let's do the accessories. Of course, you've got the Pamela Voorhees tombstone, which is quite nice. That's always a nice thing. She died when I was born. We have, again, the hacksaw from the beginning. Very nice, some nice blood work on there. We get an extra hand, which I think is just, you know, obviously that's a weapons hand that's gonna hold one of these that has thick or something. I don't know which one. Maybe for the corkscrew, perhaps? We have the meat cleaver. I'm trying to remember who gets the meat cleaver, but I'm blanking. Was Crispin Glover, did he get the corkscrew, then the cleaver? I think that's what it was, actually. But yeah, that's really neat that you get the uh, corkscrew for Teddy, the dead fuck. Dead fuck, no, dead fish. Fish fuck. Fi Ah, oh, I thought I knew, man. I thought it was gonna be all cool coming in here, saying lines and stuff, and let me just type it into my computer. Nope, Eric, you are not cool. Oh, that is sticky. Oh, I guess that's from the tape. I must have pulled the tape off weird. I was like, is that like, it's like actual corn syrup, it's sticky? And of course we have your butcher knife, which is a common weapon of the Mr. Man Voorhees here. We have a non-bloody ax. And we get an extra head with an extra mask, so. Let's see what the face looks like under there. Ah, yes, this is actually for the sliding head hit. Then of course you can get the machete in there. Not quite as deep as it probably should go, but that's pretty cool. I'm not sure why the mask is, I don't see much difference in the mask though. That one has like an extra little bit of a crack to it. It's about really the only difference I see there. And in the face, that is an awesome sculpt. That is really nice looking. 
This is definitely probably top three Jason designs for me. All right, articulation, you get a little bit up and down, you get a little twist side to side. You get some upward shoulder movement, a decent amount of twist, the joints are a little stiff. Single kind of hidden joint for the elbow. You do get a little rock, paper, scissors, and you plenty of twist on the hands. Rubberized clothing, not a lot of torso bend or twist. It's mostly around the belt line. Legs do come out a decent amount. Forwards back, they have rubberized the edge of the pants. You do have a nice knee joint that's pretty well hidden. Not a lot of twist in the feet, not a lot of up and down in the feet, but you do get a little bit, and you get feet pegs if you need them. <coughs> so that's all well and good. Now I'm not gonna deal with switching the heads here because we only have the one head. It ain't too much difference. So let's see what weapon we can get in his hand. Good, we got his machete. Ch -ch -ch. <sighs> I totally did that wrong. I complain when people do that wrong, and here I am doing it wrong. Let me do it right. Killer, mommy, killer! Die, Jason, die! I know he didn't do it with an ax, but die, die! All right. <laughs> um, that hand is a little bit weird, the grabby hand. It would be awesome if we can get a goofy dancing Chris, Crispin Glover figure. That would be cool. All right, well, not bad. And again, I mean, not a lot of accessories to change out, so that's why I'm kind of not dealing with it. So, um, but I do love that they give you the head that can slide down the machete and he looks even a little bit more derpy, so that's really cool. I'm not entirely sure. I don't, there wasn't really enough differences in those masks, though. Well, I guess the paint is different, actually. Now that I look a little bit closer, the stripes are gone. See, it's kind of half gone there. It's worn off here. It's worn off a little bit at the top on both of them. You got this extra little bit of a crack. I guess I need to go back and rewatch the movie a little bit because maybe there was a, that's some extra detailing that I've just kind of missed out on. But very, very nice. So there you guys go. There is your Friday the 13th, the final chapter, Jason Voorhees, ultimate NECA action figure. Let me know what you think about this one. Of all the ones they've made so far, which one's your favorite? What's your favorite accessory? What would be your dream for them to make if they did make other characters or villains? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So definitely geek out with me in the comments and I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Other than that, you can click the thumbs up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And I guess now I'm gonna get out of here so I can go open up some more stuff and I'll see you all later. <laughs>